Okay, so I have one of these Emacs ES08 MA2 servos, and I was reading online how to increase the travel to 180 degrees, and everyone said to put 2K resistors in, in line with the potentiometer, but I decided to get some little 5K potentiometers, and I put them in line instead, so I'm going to see how far it can be stretched before bad things start happening. So I took it apart and the potentiometer is right back here. So the two, the left side and the right side I cut and put the smaller 5k potentiometers in series. Wipers in series at least. If you go from end to end it'll just act as a resistor. So this way you can adjust it. So it's kind of weird when you start it up, it does, well, I'll show you, I guess. So this is turned all the way down. This is stock travel. Maybe more, slightly more than 90 degrees. And then when you adjust the one potentiometer, it kind of acts like a trim or an adjustment, but then you can just trim the other side, turn the other side of the pot until it goes back to level. So it kind of acts like a trim if you want, if you have some sort of application where there's no, you can't trim on your radio, you can use these as a trim. So I have them turned about a uh, third of the way maybe. You can already see the travel's increased pretty substantially, it's almost 180. Okay, so I have them turned about half of the way. It's a little, as you can see, one's more adjusted than the other, but whatever. They're adjusted half the way, so it should be about 2.5k ohms. Yeah, I think I should adjust this one. There, it's about level. You already get about more than, slightly more than 180 degrees travel. I'm just going to keep turning them up and see what happens. Okay, so this is about three quarters of the way of potentiometer, so about, I don't know. Uh oh. All right, so that's too far. Okay. Hopefully that's better. It's about trim center. Uh -oh. Doesn't seem to like that. Looks like 180 is about as far as you can get.
Yeah, you can get 180, and that's about it. But you can trim it slightly if you want, or adjust the endpoints, I guess, with an analog tensiometer instead of doing it on your radio. So that's interesting. I'll probably measure the resistance values and then post them.